too many clothes, but still having nothing to wear. It's a problem a lot of us clearly struggle with. And I used to have the same problem too. Running to the clearance section, falling victim to those irresistible price slashes, jumping on super popular trends, or just holding the pieces that bring back memories, but no longer fit you well. Trust me, I get it. This all stems from lack of what I call wardrobe education. See, the goal of style is to look good and feel great. And it's really, really hard to do that when you have no idea of where to even start. But the good news is, we're gonna fix it. In this video, we're gonna cover nine different items that are essential to creating a sexy, stylish, versatile wardrobe, perfectly suited to handle every day of the week from the workday to the weekend. Let's get into it. Before we get started, it's important to note a couple of things. Because we're focused on essential pieces for the spring and summer season, it's important to first be mindful of what the weather is in your region of the world. So as we run down our list, be sure to pick items that suit your lifestyle perfectly. True style is all about dressing in accordance with the weather and activity. Don't be that guy wearing a turtleneck in a summer evening just because you think it looks nice. See, there's a couple of things you need to consider, like do you commute a lot? Do you live in a city that requires a ton of walking? Do you work in a professional environment or frequently attend dinners, bars, or other nightlife activities? You have to pay strict attention to your lifestyle as this will help decide what essential options work best for you. When you think of essential items, I want you to think about things and activities you do daily or weekly as opposed to once in the blue moon, like going to the beach or attending a pool party. Yes, it's nice to have things to wear for that too, but we must not confuse them with essentials. And lastly, by no means am I saying that these are the only items you need in your wardrobe, but instead, I'm simply making the case to invest in these items as a foundation to your style. Having these specific items will allow you to work seamlessly with other articles of clothing you already have, and in the process, put an end to those instances of feeling like you never have anything to wear. Okay, now that we've got that covered, let's jump right into it. So when I think about style, my head always jumps straight to Monday and the work week. We all know that of the seven days of the week, five of those are for the most part dedicated to work. And except you have a remote work position and actually stay at home 100% of the time, then it's only right that our first priority is setting ourselves up for success with proper work attire. So our first item is going to be loafers, or at least a pair of work appropriate dress shoes. Now I want you to think about loafers being a key foundation for your spring and summer style, because I could easily argue that they look good with everything. Like come on, who doesn't love a slip on shoe? And with work lifestyles changing quite a bit in recent years, especially when you factor in versatility and sustainability, a rubber or lug sole is just hard to beat. It still looks very professional, but it adds quite a bit of comfort for hard floors or long walks while commuting to and from work during the work week. You can't go wrong with loafers as long as you avoid an overly chunky sole or any gaudy ornaments. So if all you have in your closet are leather sole dress shoes, then it may just be time to consider a slip-on rubber sole loafer. Our second item on the list is a well-tailored blazer, and I mean well tailored. If you haven't seen our how to tailor suit video already, I highly recommend checking it out as this is going to pay major dividends for your closet and style. And even if you typically don't wear a blazer to work, I still think it's necessary to have one for those important meetings or job interview that you never saw coming. But back to blazers. A solid navy or gray blazer is definitely fail proof. Don't settle for any old blazer in your closet either. Try it on and perform a simple inspection. Make sure it has an updated modern cut, preferably a two and not a three button, and that it's not hanging off your shoulders or appears to be extremely boxy. You also want to make sure your blazer length is not draping too long or that your sleeves are not all the way down past your wrist. If you're finding you have some of these issues, then it's probably time for some alterations or investing in a new blazer altogether. I personally have an affinity to navy and it's perfectly fine if you have one already. But for this video, I'm actually recommending a solid or patterned gray blazer. 
this is a great option for those of us that want to switch things up a bit. And the reason is, it's quite an exquisite combination when paired with darker trousers like black or navy. This makes for a perfect statement piece for the office and dinner dates as well. And for wedding invitations or summer parties, simply switch it up with a lighter colored trouser. Best of all, this is a color that looks great in any season from spring to summer or fall. Our third item is a set of well-fitting trousers. This one is gonna come down to fitment and tailoring as well, as I mentioned in our pant fitment video. So here, you're gonna to wanna to find your fit, whether it's relaxed or tailored. And needless to say, you really can't go wrong with a pair of black or navy trousers. Trousers add so much versatility to your closet because they allow you to make any outfit professional or at the very least, smart casual. For instance, you could take a simple polo collared shirt and a vintage sneaker and pair them with a set of dress trousers. By tucking in the polo, it instantly gives the outfit a dose of sophistication. And if you want to take things to the next level, then add that blazer like we've just talked about to make a stylish, semi-casual outfit for the office. This will also work well for a casual or formal dinner date. Simply swap out those sneakers for something a little bit more classy, like those Luxo loafers we just talked about. Okay, so next up guys, I need you to invest in a relaxed t-shirt. As you can see, I'm wearing one here and I know you're probably wondering why relaxed? Well, in a warmer season, a relaxed t-shirt offers an insane amount of comfort since it's usually a looser, wider cut with drop shoulders and a wider sleeve opening. And so the fabric isn't clinging close to your body, allowing for additional breathability and ventilation. And trust me, in a hot, humid summer like Houston, you need that. Another interesting feature of a relaxed t-shirt is that it typically is gonna be in somewhat but not overly cropped length. And what this means is that it's not as long as a typical t-shirt, which tends to drape well past your waistline. So you have the luxury of either wearing it tucked or untucked, and it'll always look good. Lastly, a lot of relaxed t-shirts are constructed from heavier weight but breathable cotton. And the byproduct of this is a firmer crew neck fitment and a wrinkle-free drape all of which come together for a stylish classic silhouette. I think relaxed tees are the perfect go-to option when it becomes too hot to layer, but you'd still like to look the part. To dress this up, just remember to keep one piece of your outfit elevated by either adding a pair of dress trousers, loafers, or boots. A relaxed tee is a great choice for bar hangouts and casual lunch or dinner dates. It also makes for that perfect underlayer for your casual office attire. These are a must have, so we'll add this three pack assortment to the list with neutral shades of black, gray, and white. For our fifth item, I think every man needs a solid pair of boots. Look, if you'd like to elevate an outfit as simple as a t-shirt and a pair of jeans, then a solid pair of leather boots is clearly the missing formula here. And we just need to decide what pair of boots work best for you. Your essential boots need to be comfortable, and you should be able to walk in them for more than a mile. So we've got quite a few options here. On the casual side, we've got a pair of Chelsea boots that are easy to slip in and out of and are always nice to have. Just be sure to stick with a pair that has a rubber crepe or lightweight lug sole. And for a more sophisticated option, you can't go wrong with a pair of lace-up boots and a cap toe or classic wingtip design. And for an in-between style, I really, really love the idea of a sport boot, which has a sneaker wedge sole for increased comfort, but with the classic styling of a wingtip or cap toe boot. These come in really handy for nightlife and bar scenes, since you're highly likely to be walking through some ugly and very rugged terrain, like concrete curbs, broken glass from beer bottles, liquid spills, and who knows what else. So it's a good idea to be very well insulated. Additionally, it'll also take away the guesswork of what to wear every time since it looks good with everything, instantly commands respect, and comes across a lot more polished. In these situations, everyone else is likely wearing a pair of sneakers or their office shoes, and here you are feeling protected and super duper stylish without much effort. Number six on the list is a casual pair of pants. And I recommend either a medium to dark wash denim, 
a pair of chinos, or cargo pants. Again, when it comes to pants, fitment is a major key. You obviously can't wear dress trousers or sweats every day of the week. And so investing in some good denim or khakis can do wonders for your style, especially on the weekend and towards the end of the work week. Now, I don't think you just need much convincing to have a solid pair of jeans or khakis in your wardrobe. However, the issue I see here is too many guys not having the right colors or are suffering from poor fitment, especially when it comes to pant length. You wanna make sure your essential and casual pants are exactly that essential. And that means staying away from too light of colors like white or really light washes and that they aren't hanging off your bum or bunching up at the ankles. I guess the best way that I can say this is if you can't pair your khakis with a blazer or aren't comfortable wearing them to work with a loafer and a polo collar shirt, then it's probably not the right pair. But the good news here is you don't necessarily need to buy a new pair as good denim can take quite a beating. So go through your closet and find your best pair. Then visit your local tailor and ensure the fitment is spot on. Next up, we have a short length jacket. This one is a great item to have for those summer nights where you'd like some lightweight layering, specifically like a fancy dinner date or an upscale <laughs> lounge. Now, when choosing an appropriate jacket, you want to pay specific attention to weight and fabrics that are agreeable with your local weather. A few great options are a safari or field jacket, a lightweight overshirt, a bomber jacket, or a suede trucker jacket. Denim for me unfortunately tends to be on the heavier side. If you don't know by now, I'm a huge advocate of versatility. And while these are all great options, I strongly advise going with something with a collar. And with that said, it tends to get really, really hot and humid in Houston, even in the evenings. So my pick here is this lightweight overshirt. It pairs quite well with the t-shirt, or you can skip the tee for a traditional cotton or crochet tank top. And since it has a collar, it'll still look really smart and polished. So whether it's a dress trouser and loafer combination or a denim and boot pairing, it absolutely doesn't matter. Lastly, my favorite feature with this style of jacket has to be the ability to roll up the sleeves since the fabric is quite thin and super lightweight. For item number eight, we have a casual or what I'd like to call a city sneaker. So think about when you're running errands around the city, like doing a bit of shopping, picking up dry cleaning, or getting some maintenance done at your local car dealership. But what if you randomly decide to stop at a local sports bar to meet up with friends? Putting a little more effort in your tire allows you to easily transition or make a pit stop at these unplanned events. So instead of throwing on your beat up or dirty gym sneakers, you need the perfect city sneaker. And there's a ton of great options out there at various price points, but the goal here is to stay away from anything overly sporty or trendy. Remember, this isn't gym or athletic wear, and the idea is to find something that provides a great deal of comfort yet still exudes class. Some great options include the classic Adidas Samba sneaker, the Puma Oslo, or the Nike kill shots you've seen earlier on Troy. All of these feature a gum sole with a sleek low profile and a minimalist design that flows well with just about anything, with the kill shots and the City Oslo offering a bit of a thicker outsole. On the other hand, if you're looking for something with less branding and a little more flair, then a pair of the Genesis sneakers from Axel Arigato or Parisian brand Beldon may be in your near future. These models have a much chunkier silhouette and play with color in a tasteful but understated manner. And if you're into midsole sneakers like I am, then you couldn't possibly go wrong with a pair of Nike vintage blazers or even a classic pair of Chuck Taylors. Our last and final item is a single or double-breasted vest. This one, in my opinion, is a must-have and a Swiss Army knife for your wardrobe, simply because it offers you endless versatility for both the work environment and any leisure outing. It's the perfect sleeveless layer you can wear to work, for a dinner date, or even nightlife. And it looks great in both a single or double-breasted cut. You could easily dress it up with a button-down shirt and loafers, or dress it down with a tee, camp collar shirt, tailored denim, and a solid pair of boots. Sometimes it feels like you just need that extra something to take an outfit to the next level. And believe it or not, it's usually a vest. So I know that that was quite a bit. So let's run a recap really, really quickly. Here is my full list of nine spring summer essentials for a stylish killer wardrobe.
there you have it, gentlemen. Nine must-haves for a simple but elevated spring-summer wardrobe that can instantly give you that bulletproof style you've been looking for all spring or summer. And hey, you're a stylish gen as it stands, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this channel. So I trust that you have many quality items that'll pair really, really well with these essentials. With these few items, you have a lethal arsenal to build any outfit for any day of the week and for any occasion life may throw at you. So what I miss or leave out? And what should the next video be? Remember, this is your channel as much as it is mine. But hey, don't take my word for it. Drop a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. And let's put that to the test. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.